Hi guys, just thought I'd post up a quick informative video on when jobs go wrong. <laughs> now, before we start, obviously I did not do this job. I just want to stress that this is a job that was brought into us. A gentleman took his trousers, these trousers, he took them to a local place to us. Um, I won't name names because that's not really fair because I don't know the full ins and outs of how we had it done this way but it's a really really poor job I don't know why they've done it this way so basically anyway let's run through it so the gentleman um, is putting a little bit of weight and he wanted the waist letting out which is fine that is totally fine and you do, and you do it by stripping down uh, the rear waistband and then you can let it out from the inlay there I won't fully go through the job but the, basically what had happened is he took it to a local place and what they've done is the the clasp stays like that there and then the zips all nice and straight so the place where he took it to for some bizarre reason all they did was move the button from here to there and if you button this up and then that was it so now when he took them away you try and zip it up the zip twists and then the clasps just doing nothing, just flapping around. So, don't know what he was supposed to do with that. Just leave it. Maybe the belt covers it. I don't know. It's a bit bizarre. But the worst thing is, is look, the zip. It's all twisted. And then when you're wearing it, the, the zip just comes down. Anyway, so we're um, doing it properly. So the proper way to do it is leave the button where it is. Don't touch any of that. And then do it on the back. I mean, if you're being super cheeky, you could maybe move the clasps as well as moving the button. You might get away with half an inch, but same again, the zip's going to twist and stuff. So, uh, by far and away, if you are getting a let out waist done, wherever you're getting it done at, make sure to do it on the rear seam and let it out there. There's always, and there's normally one to two inches inside on a pair of trousers, so there's always a decent inlay. And then when it go when it goes back, um, just make sure that all the seams marry up and they're not too like twisted, they're not uneven or twisted or anything like down the seat. Um, I've seen that sometimes happen as well. So anyway, guys, if you need a let out waist doing, make sure it's done on the rear seam and not the cheeky way by moving buttons or clasps on the front. The proper way is to take a little bit of time. Strip the way waistbanding down, and then um, obviously stripping the old stitching out, and then restitching it carefully, but a little bit wider. So there you go, guys. A little bit of a tip if you're looking to get a taking a let out waist done. Yeah, as always, just drop me an email if you need me. It's Michael at jamespersontaylor.co.uk on the email. And you can check out our main website, www.taylorsinmanchester.co.uk. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support on the channel. Thank you.